All right, guys, welcome back. This is Cisco Nate, and I'm here to show you guys how to return PLR on a Cisco ASA running on a Firepower 2100 chassis. So at this point, you've already been through the process of registering the device with PLR, and I want to show you guys how to return it in the event that you need to like decommission a chassis or move the license to another device, whatever it is. So the first thing is go to software.cisco.com and go ahead and log in, as you typically do with most of the licensing here. After two-factor authentication, then I'll navigate to my smart account. In this case, it's the testing account. I'll click on inventory to bring up my actual virtual accounts, and I will navigate to my virtual account. And we'll go to product instances, because this part point if you're running PLR on an ASA on a Firepower 2100 chassis you'll actually have a, uh, a product type in here called FPR mid with a reserved license so this JAD23311 QEY should be my ASA so we'll progress over to the ASA now real quick I'll log in go to enable mode I'll do a show license show license all this shows that it's universally registered with the two features that I had chosen. Uh, and you'll see the license serial number here, JAD23311QEY. So in other words, I verified that this is indeed registered on my virtual account, which is criteria for returning the license. So then next thing I'll do is I'll go to config T and it's very simple here. All you do is type license, smart, reservation, return. And you hit enter. Now it gives you a code here and uh, obviously, if you're in a disconnected network, that means you have to write it down, copy it, whatever have you. Uh, go back to Cisco uh, Smart Software Licensing and License Reservation, or we go to the product instance, we hit Actions, Remove. And it's going to ask us for that reservation return code. So I'm going to hit Control V here, paste my code, and hit Remove Product Instance. All right. Now, at that point, when I type license smart reservation return, this ASA considers itself unlicensed without any communication between the two. You'll see here, once I do show license all, it shows itself as unregistered. Now, what that means is you can run into a situation where you've executed license smart return and gotten this code. It is now unregistered on its side and you've got the split brain system, the Cisco portal versus the ASA. Now, if you start the whole process of trying to register again before entering this code and you lose this code, this device is now poisoned. In other words, the ASA thinks it is unlicensed, but on Cisco's portal backend, it thinks it is still licensed because you never entered the return code. And at that point, you are no longer able to recover this return code, which means you cannot get rid of the instance on the portal. And if you can't get rid of it, then you can't re-register it to get it working again. At that point, you have to call your PSS or CSE and get them to put in a ticket, or you can put in a TAC case yourself to get licensing to remove the product instance on the back end. That's it. That's uh, pretty simple. So uh, hope you guys have a good one. Talk to you later.